live here folks i think we are live good morning good morning so we're gonna have some fun today so we have since we're having fun uh i got a fun shirt on this morning i got a gayer shirts from uh i think i got this shirt gosh i don't uh about four or five years ago okay i got this shirt four or five years ago so uh i think i got it from seattle coffee gear way back when anyway big shout out to gayer I know she doesn't watch my videos, but uh, she is one of my all-time favorite, the YouTuber. Uh, wow, we are here, guys. Uh, I'm going to have a young Sal join me this morning. So if you don't know Sal, he is our local barista, uh, working at the local coffee shop there. He's a Abbott, uh, you can say Abbott coffee hobbyist. No, more than that. You're not a, I think you're beyond hobby. Both. Yeah, you're both. Yeah, and it's also. My job and it's yeah. still my hobby too. Yeah, his hobby, and he loves coffee as well. So we're gonna do a big showdown, okay? So first round. So this is a prelim, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be. We are going to compare GP6. So we have GP6. So this is a Sal's personal GP6. So he knows this grinder really, really well. Okay, it's been nicely seasoned. Okay. So we have a uh, orca. Uh, so this is a cafe sink orca, not the regular birds. This is the ghost bird. Okay. So we got ghost bird versus the uh, uh, GP6. I cannot wait to to the head to head. Uh, do some comparison there as well. So we're gonna do a couple of comparisons. I'm gonna I'm gonna have Sal grind this coffee, and I'm gonna time it as well. So we are going to kind of like go over okay a every aspect of the grinder but ultimately okay, ultimately how this coffee tastes because that's the bottom line guys okay it's all about coffee all right so today's coffee uh let's see here i'm using the friends at hydrangea uh this one has wonderful tasting notes okay dried fruit chamomile tea and salted lime okay so you bright a very bright clean yeah it's, i should be good i cannot wait okay and that comes to brewing method it's gonna be v60 so i'm trying to get uh, kind of widely used uh, v60 is obviously very uh, user friendly as well and also uh, it's gonna be two pour method okay i'm gonna pour about 50 grams of water i'm, I'm gonna be swerving a little bit okay make sure everything is saturated and i'm gonna be wait about about minutes, okay. Is that minute good? Forty-five second minute. Somewhere around there. Okay, so about you know what? Let's be consistent. Let's what about one minute, okay? And then I'm gonna be pour the rest of the water in uh, using the mellow drip, okay? Instead of you know kind of pour uh, because everybody very hard to duplicate every single time identical technique. That's a human error there. So I'm trying to cut, uh, cut out the, all the human error as possible. So I'm gonna be using uh, my uh, mellow drip, okay? And that comes to ratio. Let's try, so 20 gram in. Let's do like one to, let's go one to 16 ratio, okay? I thought about doing one to 20, uh, one to 15, about 300 gram there, but so yeah, so let's go to like one to 16. Okay, let's do one to 16 and see how it goes all right are you ready so okay I'm ready. all right so i'm gonna start with i'm gonna i'm gonna have side grind gp6 first okay if you are ready i'm gonna give you time one ready get set go okay let's find out how long it's gonna take for the gp6 Obviously, it's going to be a lot faster with GP6 than Ghost Birds, okay? I'm, I'm just going to give you that first. That's, that's the fact. But real question is how much faster, okay? Okay, we are at 25 seconds going. So, you know, almost there, isn't it? About 30 seconds? Yeah, 30 seconds for GP6. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all. 30 seconds okay. for GP6. All right. Ghost birds. Okay. So we're gonna go ghost bird there. Let's find out how long it's gonna take. Ready? 
You guys set? Go. Okay. About 30 seconds for GP6. Now Sar is grinding uh, with the ghost spurt from Cafe Sing. All right. So this is our prelim. Okay, so we're gonna go after this, we're gonna go second round. That's the Pitra versus uh, fellow O Gen 2. Uh, comes to GP6 versus Ghost Burst uh, from Cafes. It's about the same price range, guys. Uh, it's about the same price range there. Uh, GP6 is about 200. Uh, Cafe Sing is about 219. But Cafe, the Cafe Sing, the Orca grinder comes at two bursts, okay? Uh, one for the espresso friendly uh, and comes with a ghost bird. I mean, filter friendly. So they give you two. So, so you are getting a two grinder for the one prize. Okay, we are about a minute or so. About okay. Nope, still going. Still, a little bit. still, still going there. Okay. Still a little. Still, still a little. Because we have a minute and there you go. How about a minute and 10 seconds for that? So GP6 takes about 30 seconds. Cafe Sing takes about a minute and 10 with 20 gram dose. Okay, 20 gram dose there. Okay, don't do that. It, uh, it might fall out. Exactly. You see that? So. You feel like it's something little? Okay. And that comes to brewing. I think I'm going to do the brew. All right, and then I'm going to be using the brewing here. Okay. Okay, we are using the uh, And so G one bad thing about GP6, the base, it's not stable, okay? Very top heavy. Very top heavy there. All right. Yeah, it's pretty strong. I've dropped it a couple of times, sometimes like off a table. Mm -hmm. um, it seems pretty strong. All right, let's start with the GP6 here. Let's take a look at the retention. Uh, 20 gram going in. And then 20 gram out, okay? Retentions are really good, all right? 20 gram going in, 20 gram going out. Okay, let's go with the Cafe Sing. Let's take a look at the uh, retention. 19.7 okay so you have to remember so this is the flat burr so we are talking about about 0.3 gram that's that's not that bad either okay that's not that bad either just gonna make sure I'm gonna tap it get everything out here all right 19.7. So it comes to retention wise, GP6. I think I'm going to give you a point on that, but we'll see. Okay. All right. Are we ready? I think so. I'm going to start with the 50 gram. Of water. I'm just gonna go a couple swerve. I'm gonna wait. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wait about a minute each. And then right now, again, if you're just joining us, we are doing the showdown between Cafe Sing Ghost Burr versus GP6. So next one, I'm going to go all the way up to about 320 gram. Okay. 320. I want you to hit the minute mark. Here we go. 
all the way up to 320. Finish up here. Okay. It's a good thing I brought two kettle. Shout out to Big Dave for the super chat. Yeah, thank you for the kind words there. Again, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. And there were uh, just uh, 245 for the GP6. Uh, let's see here with Catfit Singh. Still going 245, getting really close. Very close. About three minutes. Ooh. 251. 255 man three minutes okay good it's about 10 second difference guys okay I think I'm I think I'm okay with that okay so about 250 and then we have about up just over three minutes so about 10 second difference there so you can't you can't ask for too much in okay the live streams. okay so again uh, we are under live streaming at the moment uh, I don't think 10 seconds will should make a big difference, but okay. We'll oh. see. So here's a big showdown right here. I'm gonna have a set uh, send them outside. Okay, so I want you go outside. Okay. Okay, he's gonna be out. All right, guys. What do you guys think? Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to set to the side here. Okay. So this one is the GP6, as we can see. All right. All right, Sal, come on in, buddy. Okay, come on in, Sal. Okay, so this is the big moment, okay, it's a SUV. Uh, we'll see, so. I'd like to try to cool it down a little bit. Yeah, just cool it down and see what happens there. It's a little easier for yeah. me to taste when it's a little cooler. Cheers, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great morning. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. Man, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. 
So, Sarah, so, here, so here's what I want you to tell me, okay? And uh, so I want you to explain. So I want you to pick a coffee that, you know, that's something you like to drink, you prefer, all right? Uh, so just let me know which one you prefer based on this coffee, based on your taste. Uh, so which one you prefer, that's all, okay? So this is not about which one is better, okay? It's not about being better, okay? It's, uh, it's, it's pretty much it's better for Sal, that doesn't mean it's better for you. But with this test, and uh, based on Sal's taste, you know, I mean, which one he prefers, that's it, okay? I mean, th this is why it's really hard to compare grinders because every, you know, everyone has different taste buds. You know, some people like, you know, a little bitter taste in cups. Some people like a little sweeter. It's all you depend on the taste. But here's big but though. I know Sal, okay? I know Sal. I know his, uh, uh, his taste bud. I mean, Sal, Sal and I, we have about the same, you know, taste anyway. So, I mean, it should be, it should be interesting. Again, so this is a one-time, kind of one-off test, but you know, again, I mean, it's kind of like fun to try. Okay, fun to try. This one's a little bit more. It's got a touch more bitterness. Okay. A little bit more like astringent, like dry in your mouth. Okay. A little bit. Okay, I can see that dry in your mouth. Okay. Okay. All right. This one here is a little bit. Smoother, a little sweeter. Okay. But so, which one you prefer? Okay, just to make sure we have the sound here. Okay, we have the sound. So, Sal, so which one you prefer for this comparison right now? I have to go with this one. Okay, so Sarah picked this one here. So the winner of the round one, okay, is the GP6. Okay, so GP6. But but here, here's a big but there, okay. I wonder. So this one was a two minutes and 50 seconds. So this cup was about three minutes. It's about 12 seconds difference there, okay. It's about 12, 13 second difference. Uh, you do taste a little bit of bitterness on that coffee, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I'll... I mean, there's something... There's something... Um, yeah, there's a little bit more bitterness, a little bit more astringency. Okay. But, you know, it's hard to say since it's just okay. a one-off thing, but I think I would still be able to pick it out. Okay, good. Um, this one's just super smooth, super sweet. Okay. Um, I feel like it just brings out a lot of the complexity. Okay. So, having said uh, that, uh, so, uh, your, your taste, how much difference um, are we talking? Um, how much like, are you... Like a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah, or? scale of 1 to 10. All right, so... Give it a scale. So, this... Like 10, 10 being... So, GP6 is your 10 right now. All right. Okay, that's your 10. What's, uh, what's the uh, Orca comes in the ghost birds? I'd probably say... This is a... The GP6 is a 10. Yep. I'd probably give it like a seven. Seven for Orca, okay. For the ghost birds there? Yeah, seven, okay. seven point five. Right. Not a, there's a noticeable difference. It's not huge, but definitely enough okay. for me to prefer this cup here. Um, but Okay, so I mean here here's one caveat to it though. So so this is a SARS personal GP six. He been using daily, okay, for a long time. So he knows that grinder intimately. You know what I mean? It's been seasoned very nicely. The so ghost birds, uh, I only use about four or five times at the most. Again, uh, uh, what I heard from other uh, friends I have, the conical bird, you may not need a lot of seasoning, seasoning to do, but especially flat, you may need to because you, you, need, uh, you need to like, smooth that edges anyway. So it'd be interesting to see if my ghost bird was properly seasoned, okay, I wonder we are going to have the same results. I mean, I mean that's kind of like time to tell. Yeah, we so, can definitely do another one later. I mean, it's definitely we are going to do another one later, but, but the, the spirit of this uh, test, this bracket challenge, so round one goes to 
GP6. Okay, GP6. So here's the GP6 right here. Thank you. There we go. So again, uh, if you are GP6 uh, fanboys out there, congrats. Okay. This is a, like a long yeah. fermentation yeah. coffee, but it's still yep. not, not too funky. No, I mean this I is like a. Yeah, I mean so this is really good. Okay. So next round, right? So we're gonna do the exact same process, but this time you're gonna go with uh, fellow O Gen Two, okay, versus the Pietro, okay, Pietro. So the Pietro grinder is uh, that's the Lance is a, uh, he's kind of like personal project, okay. So this Lance designed the birds, uh, extremely clean and clear. They're fantastic, okay? So I've been really enjoying the Petro grinder. Uh, and then we're gonna go against, uh, we're gonna go with the Fellow O Gen 2 from Fellow products, coffee products. And also Gen 2 improved their burl design. So uh, they are known for that, okay? Is that they are known for. Okay, so Elaine thinks the old for win. So here's the thing, okay? I'm very, very biased, okay? So to sell. I want, I want to, uh, Petros to win, okay, but, again, so... I've never, I've never tried any of these, yeah. I don't think I've tried either one, Ogen 2 or Pietro on, uh, but, filter, you know, so it should be... But, the, because the, for, I mean, first of all, Petro is, they are known, because they are known for their extremely clean, bring out the, all the right balance and sweetness there. And uh, we'll see. The Kevin thinks that Petro is going to crush. Oh, you know what? Here, here's the thing. Because, I mean, before we start, Petro is a four hundred seventy-five dollars. Four seventy-five the Petro. Okay. And then the fellow Ogen two is only three fifty, right? Last time I checked on Amazon, three hundred fifty bucks. The fellow Ogen one, they're selling for two hundred. Okay. So huge price difference. Uh, okay, so we have a almost five hundred dollar hand grinder versus the Fella Oat. They are known for their filter quality, especially Gen two birds. I mean, it needs to be for my personal view. It needs to, Petro needs to blow Oat away. Okay, I mean that's my thinking, and that's what I'm hoping. But yeah. again, I th I think uh, I think Petro is going to win. But... You, you think so? That's my guess, okay. but I don't know. Uh, you know, Lane okay. was saying I'm not biased. I'm kind of biased because I, you know, I wanted to win, but I've also never tried coffee from O Gen Two or Pietro, so you know, I don't. I'm not. There's not like something I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, ZP6 may have been a little easier for me mm -hmm. since I use it all the time, but you know, it was still. Even when I was tasting them, I still wasn't 100 percent sure which mm -hmm. one was which. Um, I had a guess that this one is the ZP6, but I was just going off which one I yep. prefer. Exactly, but. you prefer. Okay, so we're gonna go. Just, uh, j just hang tight, guys. Okay, you just hang tight here. We think of it as an intermission right now. Okay, think of it as an intermission. So I'm just trying to clean up my station here. It'd be nice to have like four sets of everything, right? Like four V60 or four things of kettle, you know, but we don't have space for that. But we do have four kettles though. <laughs> All right, so sir, give me a favor. Can you get ready for me this one? I got some paper here for you. Okay. Again, if you are just joining us right now, we are doing some big showdown this morning. Okay. So again, we are, we are going to do another 20 gram dose. All uh, ready to go here. And comes to time wise, there's no comparison, right? The old is 
electric. So I mean, let's not worry about that. Okay. And I'm really excited about this test right now. Okay. It should be, it should be a lot of fun. Okay. So just get ready for me here. Okay. We, meantime, I'm just going to get ready here. Just make sure I get the paper ready for our test. This is a round two. Pitro versus O Gen 2. So round one is a GP6. There's no, I was a little, sorry, so how difficult it pick out there's an obvious or you got to think about it a little I think um, when they're hot yep it's not that obvious but, okay you know once they just get a little cool like okay warm uh -huh. which is when I kind of like my coffee not super hot yep um, I think it's pretty easy to it's pretty easy okay. to tell apart okay in terms of guessing which grinder was which I had a suspicion that the one I picked was ZP6 but okay. that was a lot harder Okay. It was easy. It was easy to tell them apart, though. Okay. Um, but you know, it's hard to to guess which one would be which. But okay. I'm just gonna set up here again. We are doing the kind of like intermission. Bring out the gen. Uh, comes to grind size. Uh, I'm setting at like 3.75 on O Gen 2. And then uh, Pitro, I'm set at almost number 8. Okay. Is that 8 there? No, almost 9. Okay. Almost 9. All right. So let's start with, let's time. Pitch up for the hand grind time. So let's get going here. Again, if you're just joining us, we are ready to compare a fellow O Gen 2 versus Pitro. Grinder from uh, Fianzato. Okay, Fianzato. All right. Okay, so let's time the pitch up. Okay. Uh, you might want to do is uh, like this. Yes. Okay. I'll right. uh, put the the other hand on the top. There we go. Ready? I'm ready. Get set. Go. It's a uh, has the. Pranks. Is that easy or hard? It's pretty easy. Pretty easy, okay. Is that a little awkward though? Yeah. Okay, a little awkward, okay. Uh, that's why they are working on the base right now. I know. Yeah, people are uh, working on the base. Imagine if you are doing that for espresso. No. It'd be, it'd be painful. So, again, I think hand grinder is great for filter guys, okay? Do not attempt as your main grinder, okay? Main, your espresso grinder. So this is the flat bird, 58 millimeter flat bird. About a minute, about a minute. Just like ghost bird. Again, so flat birds takes a little longer. Okay, that's the fact, all right? This grind size close to number nine as well. Man, so how's that feel? It's a little more tiring than the, okay. the conicals and stuff. But yeah, but yeah, I've seen. Uh, yeah, I've seen they're working on the base, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. Okay, hopefully it'll be good. All right. Uh, comes to uh, fellow Ogen too. Watch this. I'm just gonna go. Let's see here. Three. Okay, are you ready? Can you just open it up for me? 
Okay, here we go. Uh, with the O Gen 2, you don't have to worry about RDT or anything. It has the uh, anti static technology built in. So, now, yeah, go ahead. That's it. After that, you have a knock box here. Just a couple of clicks. Done. So, this is it. For that alone, okay, for that alone, uh, a lot more convenience, okay. But again, so we are trying to find the best cup of coffee here, uh, the quality wise. So, we'll see. So, Ode has a 64 millimeter Gen 2 Burst, and the uh, Petro has a 58 millimeter flapper uh, designed by Lance, okay. If you don't know what, uh, who Lance Hedrick is, he, I mean, Lance has been around for a while, he loves coffee. I mean, he is really, really into the birds as well. So, I mean, you know, I do trust, you know, his design, okay? He hasn't let me down yet, so. And, okay, so let's put some coffee here. We're gonna, we are here with a young Sal is helping us today, this morning. Uh, we are doing the 1 to 16 ratio. Okay. Uh, 20 gram going in, 19.8, okay, so very close, okay, really good. I like that. OGen2, 20 gram going in, 20 gram out, okay, so they're also pretty close as well. I mean, they're both fantastic, all right. All right, again, we're gonna be doing one to 16 ratio. And then we're gonna do about minute blooming, okay? And then we're just gonna do second pull, that's it. You're gonna first, I'm gonna put about 50 grams of water. Just gentle swerve. Okay, and then we're gonna wait about a minute or so. Just gonna do the same thing as well. Do 50 gram. And after that, we're gonna, I'm gonna be using the mellow drip. Okay, I'm gonna be doing mellow drip. All the way up to about 320 gram. We're gonna wait about a minute, okay? I mean, right now, 52 seconds here. There we go. All the way up to 320. I'm just gonna go. Same thing. Okay, if you are just joining us right now, we are brewing with Petro versus uh, Old Gen 2, fellow Old Gen 2 here. All right, so first round was uh, uh, GP6 versus the uh, uh, Cafe Sync Orca Ghost Birds. Uh, that goes to GP6 this morning for this round. And then right now, again, we have uh, Petro versus Old Gen 2. So this is the second round. 
and uh, whoever wins and goes to the final. The final round is going to be a little bit more interesting. We're going to go, we're going to brew twice. Wash and anaerobic coffee, it's going to be a completely different coffee as well. So, you know, give them a fighting chance there. Uh, uh, 20 to 320. Yeah. Uh, two minutes and 52 seconds for the pitro. And then with old Gen 2, man, interesting. It's going to be right on it about the same time, guys. Okay. Wow. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it, guys. A little, little bit of luck on our side. Okay, so luck is on our side, okay. They're right on it about the exact same time. Can you believe it? Very interesting, all right, because here's the reason why I say that. Okay. Use the picture here. Look at the grind size. A lot more uniform. Okay. And the O Gen 2, you see a lot more fines. But same time, look at the time. Okay. Uh, 257, but you know, I mean, I just, uh, it was more like 252. 250 is right, pretty much the same time as the uh, Gen 2 uh, Petro. 252. Fascinating. So this should be really good, okay? I mean, so this one I feel a lot more comfortable, okay? It was a huge difference there. I mean, that's what I like to see, what I love to see there. Sal, why don't you go outside for a second? I'm gonna have Sal outside. Okay. So this is the Gen 2. So this is the Petro. Okay, Sal, so come on in. I'm gonna have Sal come in so he can do his thing here. Go in and try. Yeah, just cool down. Elaine said, it'll be interesting to repeat when Pietro is more seasoned. This one should be decently seasoned. Oh, yeah, because uh, uh, so this uh, grinder from uh, X Coffee Expo, so there was actual demo units. So I know they use that a lot at the Expo. So, yeah, they're pretty much seasoned. Yeah. Okay, so the Gen 2 as well. Probably I've been using it, yeah. I've been using it for quite some time. Okay. <laughs> Again, we are doing the comparison between Petro versus O Gen 2 here. Wow. Okay. So, what is your first impression, Sal? Impressions. Um, this one right here has a little bit more of a body to it. More body, okay. Um, both decently clean. Okay. This one feels a little bit more like smoother, a little more rounder, not as. Okay. Um, not as many things to pick out, like, oh, I don't like this little yeah. thing, or I don't like this little thing. It's a little, just more smooth all around. Man, because Sar is taking his time. Okay, he wasn't like clear winner like last one, GP6 versus the Orca. This one has a little bit of a drying, okay. like after aftertaste so sir so which one do you prefer buddy so so i need to know what sir's thing okay why, why don't you pick one right now pick up pick one 
I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. This is what I prefer. Why, why don't you raise the cup for me? Raise the cup. So you want that one right there. Yeah. All right. So let's find out what that one was. Okay. Pitra. Okay. So he picked out the Pitra, but takes an awfully long time. Yeah. It's also pulling down. Like for me, it's a much harder at the beginning okay. to pick apart. Like as they cool down, it's much easier to see the differences. Um, so, you know, right after brew, it's still a little hot. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, for me personally, there's definitely a difference, but it was a little harder uh, than the first one for me. Okay, so right now, so now coffee's cooled down for a little bit. Why don't you try one more time here? Okay. Yeah, this one, a little bit of a sharper acidity uh, in sort of a slightly unpleasant way. Um, a little bit more astringency. Um, you know, with this one, it's hard to, when you take a sip, it's hard to pick out anything wrong with it. You just get the nice flavor of the coffee, you know, unique character of the coffee. I don't get any bitterness, no astringency, nothing nothing wrong pops out to me. Okay, how about this? So so let, let's say picture is a 10. Uh, what's, what number you give it to Oat? Uh, so last time... Uh, one more sip. Yep. Um, if uh, Pietro is 10, I'd probably give this one like an 8. 8. Okay, so 8. A little bit closer than uh, the first round, but I still think once it cools down a little bit, it, it, you can still okay. uh, tell the difference there. Man, so, so that's a pretty tall order there. You know what I mean? The, what I mean by that is Pietro is, let's say, 10. Oh, for the sales point of view, uh, Gen 2 is by 8, okay? I was hoping for a bigger gap, all right? I was hoping for a bigger back gap, but... We, yeah, I mean, we might see with uh, final yeah. round with final washed, yeah, washed and yep. uh, natural. Because um, I bet, I know Lance designed these burrs, and I know his preference is definitely the very clean, very uh, complex wash coffees. Me and Lance tend to have similar preferences. Uh, where I just really like the nice, clean wash coffee. Okay, so so here's what we're gonna do, guys. Uh, it's been 42 minutes right now. Uh, we, uh, so I'm gonna be clean this place up first, okay? And then I'm gonna clean it up, and then we're gonna be back uh, within next half an hour. All right, just hang tight, guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna be back in about next half an hour here. Uh, let's see here. What we can do is, uh, you guys want to? You want me to leave the live streaming on or? Yeah, let me know in the comment section as well. Should I just uh, sh uh, close it and then go back again? Yeah, what do you guys think? You want me to leave the live streaming on so you guys are going to see me clean the place up or uh, you want me to sh sh shut it down and uh, uh, join me in about within the next 30 minutes? What do you guys want to see? So you guys are going to see the behind the scene there. So uh, Rain say, uh, leave it on. Elaine say, why not? Okay, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to leave it on for now. Okay, and then we, we, uh, we're just going to get ready, all right? So we're going to do the behind the uh, content there. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, Jose asked me about the before you go. What is your opinion on this one? Uh, I mean, that's what I expected in first place, okay? I knew that uh, GP6 is going to be do performs well, okay? And also, Petro is going to be... Uh, you know, also performs well, but I was hoping for significant, okay, significant difference between Petro and Gen 2. But, I mean, I was, so that was a little disappointed. Uh, did I disappoint it? Sorry, what, what do you think? Go ahead. Um, you can hold on. I think, yeah, I was hoping for a little bit more difference. But I'm curious, you know, now that it's cooled a little bit, let's uh, go in one more time here. Um, so, yeah. Because, yeah, for me, any, uh, any coffee I taste uh, or any comparison I do, when it's hot, it's uh, much harder for me uh, to tell the difference.
Yeah, for me, even in this, um, even in this small time where we've let it cool, mm -hmm. I would, I would probably change the numbers a bit. Okay. Yeah, the Pietroizer cooled down, stayed super sweet, like stayed, um, stayed just as strong as it was. Um, so still super sweet, nice and round, nice and clean. You get get to pick out all the different flavors. Um, Yeah, this one has a little bit more, yeah, stringency, a little bit more bitterness. There's something in this, obviously these are both super good, we're just being picky, but the one with the O Gen 2, there's something I can't put my finger on that's a little unpleasant uh, during it. Um, so, I mean, if I were to change the numbers again, I'd probably, if the Pietro was a 10, I might lower it down to like a 7 rather than an 8. 6.57 um, yeah there's something slightly off um, very very slightly it's hard for me to describe but there's something unpleasant um, that got stronger in the O Gen 2 cup um, yeah, as a cool down the probably yeah Yeah, even though the O Gen 2 might have had more fines, I would think that that would give it a bigger body, but or a nicer body, but this one is just super what's the word? I don't know, just super silky, you know. It's not, you know, nice uh nice uh weight in the mouth. Um someone said, could it be chaff? Um it probably wouldn't be chaff, you know, with something like uh, these natural anaerobics, especially, you know, natural and heavily processed, you don't tend to get much chaff. Uh, maybe we'll see, maybe, you know, with wash coffee, you can get a lot of chaff. Um, but usually with the, the natural, heavily processed coffees, normally you don't get much chaff afterwards, but... Yeah, but you know, I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd be happy to have any of these cups, but since since I have them right back to back, you know, it's a lot easier for me to just say, pick out which one I like better. Yeah, definitely definitely more stringent the O Gen 2 I feel like it's a little less you know as it's cooling still um, it's a little less vibrant it's a little like a little bit more dulled I think the the Pietro just really pops out like each each individual flavor note is just really popping whereas um, this might be because of the fines but like uh, it's harder to pick out like individual taste notes like uh, what I taste um, in the Ogen 2. Yeah, a little bit more, um, I guess you could say like acrid acidity, a little bit more um, like overly sour um, in the Ogen 2 as it cools down. But yeah, so. If I were uh, to change it up, like I said, I'd probably give, if Pietro's 10, I'd probably do like 6.57 now. Um, but yeah, definitely as it cooled, uh, you know, the Pietro definitely shined. Definitely showed how good it is, uh, in my opinion, as it cooled down. Shall we increase the grind size on Pietro? Or um, hmm. I mean, I think it was pretty good. Okay. I think it was pretty good. What was it like 250, something like that? Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Because we want to match that with your GP. This six. one was 240, Two, something. Yeah. I could go with one finer. Yeah, on lunch GP6. One, yeah, lunch one finer there. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay, folks. I think we are almost ready for second round here, folks.
Okay, if you are just joining us now, we just finished the, the prelim, okay, prelim of our grinder showdown this morning. So we are uh, special, uh, so these grinders are specializing filter coffee, okay, filter coffee only, no espresso. So first round went to GP6 against Orca Ghostbirds, and then the, another round was Fellow Ogen 2 versus uh, Pitra. And obviously, Pitra won for that round. For second round, so this is the big one. Okay, so this is the big one. So this round, GP6 versus a Pitro. We are going to go two brew. Okay, I'm going to be using one flat, uh, one flat bad brewer and one cone shaped brewer. Okay, so uh, with a cone shaped brewer, I feel like give you a lot more, uh, kind of like more body and texture from cone-shaped paper, and the flapper give you a lot more clarity, okay? So with a cone-shaped paper, I'm gonna be using, this is also another fantastic anaerobic process coffee from my friends at Good Brothers Coffee there, Columbia Finca La Flores, okay? There are wonderful tasting notes, dragon fruit, red fruit, and papaya, okay? So let's use that for uh, a cone-shaped paper. And then this, uh, right after that, we're gonna brew another one, okay? Because, uh, because I wanna give both the grinder a chance, okay? So this is just plain wash coffee, very clean, all right? Wash coffee from Luanda. Orange blossom, cranberry, and oolong tea, okay? And with a full body to it. So, so this one, I'm gonna be using flat bed brewer. So I'm gonna be using my uh, MK uh, dripper. And when uh, it uh, comes to brewing method, I'm going to keep it really, really simple. Okay, a really uh, simple coffee recipe there. About a minute uh, blooming, I'm just going to go, rest of them, just, just let it go. Okay, so really easy brewing method that, that, you know, I'm trying to, you know, reduce the human error. Okay, human factor, let's put it that way, all right. Okay, so give me a favor, sir. Can you measure out 20 grams for me each? Hopefully we have 20 grams each. All right. I think so. Let's see. Yeah. And then obviously uh, GP6 is a lot faster than Pitro. Okay, it's about twice faster. That's for sure. All right. Twice faster for sure. So. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, I definitely think uh, Pietro you know, match my expectations as it kept cooling down. Okay. You know, the, the O Gen 2 showed, showed its weakness a little bit. Again, we are talking about a $350 grinder versus a almost $500 grinder. So, I, yeah, that's, I'm hoping so. I'm gonna see some big difference there, but. But I was hoping m even more yeah. I mean, I've heard great things about the Gen 2, you know. They're both uh, very capable grinders, from what I've heard. All right. Okay, uh, grind some coffee beans for me. We'll start with this. this yeah, takes yep, takes a little longer. Again, if you are just joining us, we are doing the grinder showdown this morning. Okay. It's a lot hotter, for sure. Is that easier to put on your legs, Sal? I think so. Okay. 
I know some people will like sort of put it on their stomach if you land through that. Um, but you know, hopefully, hopefully they make a nice strong base. All done? We're done here. Cool. I'm done here. Okay, again, uh, it's a lot faster with a conical board like uh, GP6 than yeah, flat. Yeah, you started like fast yeah. yep. halfway with, with this one and you finished yep. around the same time. Okay. Let's take a look. I mean, retention should be really good anyway. Like a 20 gram out. For this one, Petro. Yep, again, there's no retention. All right. So we're gonna work on the second brew. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the 50 grams of water. I'm just gonna swerve it. Okay. I'm just gonna wait about 50 minutes, uh, 50 seconds. Okay. Um, it uh, seems like the benefit of having a longer, the blooming time is, I feel like to saturate even more. Yeah. I know the, the theory there is supposed to be, um, gives it more time to, um, the water to get into all mm -hmm. the grounds and bring out all the yep. soluble material and flavors and stuff. So when you start the next pour, um, the theory is it's, much easier for the water to get all the flavor out but yeah i've been enjoying yeah like minute up to minute 30 sometimes two minutes Pe depends on the coffee but we are doing the very simple pour here just two pour process for the consistency that's it okay i know there's a better methods out there but for this test I want something really simple as possible. Dang it, I forgot to press the time there. Ahmed's asking about this Stanley products. My water. Yeah. Um, my friend, my, my old roommate, someone gifted it to him, and when we were moving, he didn't want it. So I said I would take it, you know? Does the job, keeps it cold. Two minutes for the GP6. Wow. That's really fast. I even went finer. Yeah. One click finer. Yep. Maybe it's because this one, uh, you higher mean, altitude Ethiopians no, tend to. Uh, no, Downward, right, yeah. I'm yeah, I know, but higher altitude uh, mm -hmm. Ethiopians tend to produce more fines uh, with the higher altitude, denser coffees. Um, Man, they're both really fast, okay? So that's good. At least they're, yeah, at least they're similar. They're at least about the same time. Yeah, we also have one more yep. brew we can do, so. But. We're going to find out. There we go. Let's find out here. Yeah. This is just me, but I think I'd rather prefer a little quicker brew than a brew that takes a really oh, yeah. long time. But, you know, we'll see here. So I'm going to send you outside for a second.
Okay, Sal, come on in. Okay, and then we are doing the, another comparison here, another blind taste. And we'll see. There you go. Cheers. Okay. Man, it smells really good though. Yeah, this coffee smells very good. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, this coffee is very aromatic. Very, yeah, exactly. So this, uh, we are using coffee from Colombia. Uh, Finca La Flores from Good Brothers Coffee. Okay, I do have a coupon code for this. Actually, all his coffee though. All right. Wow. Goodness. A lot of flavor, guys. So after this, we're gonna play with flat bird. Okay, no, flat brewer with washed coffee. Okay, it's, this time it's a Luanda. Okay, so. But meantime. I'm trying to, trying to cool it down quickly. Yep. Okay, if you're just joining us, we are doing showdown between uh, GP6 and Petra. This one, let's see. We'll see as they cool a little bit more, but okay. I'm preferring this one. This yeah. one has a little bit of a uh, drying acidity to okay. it, or you know, like a, you know, like a darker chocolate oh. when it kind of dries your mouth mm -hmm. out a bit. Okay, so when coffee is hot, okay, and then you prefer down right there with that coffee. Yeah. Okay. This one's more well-rounded, balanced. All the all the different acidity flavor okay. notes are uh, okay. balanced together. Before I'm gonna unveil that, I'm I'm just gonna cool down a little bit. So I mean, I wanna see his opinion on when coffee is cooled down. Yeah. I wonder he feel the same way about that same coffee. Yeah, keep, keep swirling this one. Yep. Yeah. My uh, this is was my guess. Okay. Uh, with the finale, okay. I was guessing these two would. Yep. Um, we'll be in the finale together, but you never know. Do you see yeah, this one? Uh, yeah, acidity is a little, a little sharp. Okay. Well, it hits you in the wrong way a little bit. Okay. And then you know a little bit drying, stringency. Yeah, this one everything just comes together in harmony. Okay, so it's much now. more like round sweetness. You know, okay. envelops your mouth and everything's. Okay, so comes together well. So Sal likes this one here. Let's find out what this is. GP6. Okay, so GP6, he prefers for the, this coffee, so this is the anaerobic, anaerobic, anaerobic coffee. So I'm very curious to see the wash coffee we about to do, okay, for the wash coffee. So anaerobic coffee goes to GP6, head to head with GP6 versus the uh, Petro, okay, with a V60, that's a cone shaped paper, all right. So GP6 goes to win. Okay, let's move on to Lawanda. This is a nice wash coffee from Lawanda. Yeah, this one I would say, let's say if ZP6 was a 10, okay. pH was probably like 9, 9.5. Okay, so again, very so closer, but again. Surprise me. This one surprised me. So GP6 is the uh, top of this coffee, anaerobic, anaerobic coffee with cone shaped paper. So now we're going to go to flat. Okay. okay, I'm gonna go to flat here. 
Can you uh, measure me uh, 20 grams each? Yeah, I, can, yeah, I mean, I was pretty, pretty surprised. Hmm. Very, coffees are fantastic, though. Yeah, I couldn't, uh, when I was blind tasting, I couldn't tell you which grinder is which. You know, that, that's too hard. But, you know, just telling you which one I preferred there. Season ZP6 have made a difference, do you think? I think so. Your ZP6, if we use yours versus mine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little while ago we did uh, ZP6 versus ZP6. And, um, you know, they were, they were very close, but there is a noticeable difference, you know? Uh, maybe that's just like difference in manufacturing or something, but, you know, probably seasoning. His was brand new, mine. I've been using it, you know, a couple times a day, you know, for since last December. Well, we are talking about the, so this is already seasoned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this one, I'm sure they, they probably used it even before the expo yep. quite a bit. And then I'm sure they made tons of cups of coffee at the expo. Should be interesting here. Mm -hmm. If uh, I'll be surprised if ZP6 wins again, I was already surprised the uh, this first time. Should we change uh, grind size at all? You think or no? For the wash coffee grind size. Wash coffee tends to produce more fines, just in general. What do you think? I think we should... A little bit? Uh, so let's go a little finer. For both? Yeah. So maybe I'm going to set for the petrol at like 8.5 here. Yeah, about 8.5. And then you want to go what? One or two? Two? What do you think? Finer. Actually, you know, hold on a second here. But well, seems like your grinder was a little coarser than this one. Yeah. Okay. So maybe one click finer. Because what? They ended at like two, yeah. two minutes? Yep. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same. Yeah. Here we go. Let's grind some coffee there. You did that one? Sorry, that's all right. So this is the wash coffee. Obviously, it's going to take a lot longer with pitcher for sure. Because wash coffees are, you know, especially uh, a lot more dense. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and do it? Go. Oh. I guess we'll start it over. Hold on. Ready, set, go. I'm done here. Okay, so GP6 is done. We're about, done here. about oh, that's not bad. A little okay. faster this yeah. time. All right, with a. Nineteen point eight gram, pretty low retention. Twenty 
20 gram. It comes to retention wise, they're, they're both fantastic. They're both great. We're gonna do the exact same recipe as well, like one before. I'm gonna start with maybe 50 grams of water introduced. Do some little blooming here. Okay, I'm gonna wait about 45, uh, about 50 seconds. 45 to 50, maybe minutes. But you want to be exact same time though. They're asking why we're not going to use the mellow drip for the bloom. I think I think it's a lot harder to get it all saturated. Yeah, because we want to saturate the initially, and then we after could, that yeah. we're going to hit with mellow drip. We could, but I wonder. It might take more water with the mellow drip for bloom. I wonder. Um, yeah, for bloom, I don't know. I like to just you know hit it with a lot of water, mm. try to get everything uh, try to get everything saturated. Sometimes I'll even do a little uh, like hole in the center, sometimes like that. But yeah, most important thing is we're just doing uh, everything pretty much exactly the same. Yep. Very fast. Yeah. There we go. Minute and fifty seconds for the first one. Wow. Very quick. I mean, uh, again, the MK Drifter is known for their speed. Okay. Minute and fifty-five for the GP6. And the second one, minute and 54 seconds. Identical time, guys. Pretty much identical time. Very fast brew. It's going very sweet. Yeah, it should be really good coffee. Okay, I'm, I cannot wait to try here. Okay, Sal, why don't you go outside for a sec? I'm gonna have a Sal go one outside. Okay, here I go. Man, so this is a washed coffee from Luanda. Okay, Sal. Okay, it comes to brew time, identical, okay? Identical brew time, so I feel comfortable with the uh, comparison-wise, okay? I mean, so that's good. I mean, that's good time. I'm just going to... Okay. Yeah, right off the smell, Man. I get oolong tea. Oh yeah, it's, smell. Yes, the oolong is right there. Goodness. I mean, if you're like a tea person, you're gonna love this coffee. Wow. Man. It's gonna be tough. Okay. If you're just joining us, we are. This is a, this is the final round. So uh, first round with a, a V60 with a anaerobic process coffee went to GP6. Okay. Okay. So when coffee is hot, which one do you prefer? 
Coffee is hot. Which one you prefer? Let me go one more time. Mm-hmm. One more time. This one's close. Close. Um, I think while it's hot for now, I'm preferring this one here. Okay. But let's see. Try to cool them down a bit. Yep. But we are talking, okay, so Sarah's GP6 is well seasoned, I mean, so do my Pitra as well. So there was a demo unit for, for the uh, Coffee Expo a couple months ago, so it's been well used. So I'm not worried about the seasoning aspects of it. And uh, so, so when coffee is hot, Sarah prefer this one. I don't know what this one is, but yeah. Da Rock say winner versus EK forty three and never use the loser again. That's good. Yeah. So coffee is cool down a little. Which one uh, are you still stand by the same results? This one dries my mouth out a little bit. I feel like the acidity pops through a little bit more in this okay. one. Okay. Um, this one, I think it might be uh, closer than the last one. Really? For me. Let's see. Okay, so we try with uh, both uh, anaerobic coffee and wash coffee and also cone-shaped cone -shaped paper versus the flat bottom paper as well. So I think I felt like we got pretty much all the basics cover. Okay. We got all the basic cover here. Man, the oolong is coming through nicely. Man, both both great cups though. Ooh. Some of them has more body to it though. Someone has more about it. Okay, so I'm gonna have a uh, Sarah pick out the winner here. For the oh. Elaine asked me, uh, I think you are rushing him. No, you know what? That's the whole point because he needs to pick out the coffee he likes, right? If he's thinking about it, which means they're close enough to have to really think about it. I mean, that's a, that's not what I'm after here. Okay, I'm going after kind of like difference between one grinder to another. Okay, because I want in, uh, I want it to be an obvious choice because the price difference. So pick one. I think as they cool down a bit, mm -hmm. I'm liking this one this more. More uh, before that, which one? I think it was this one before, but it was a little hotter. A little hotter. Okay, so now you pick out that one. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'll choose the grinder. So this one. The winner is Petra. Okay, the winner is Petra. But here's Big Butta. I mean, he took him. It took him a long time to figure, you know, come up with that result. Okay. Which one's which here? Petra. So yeah, that's Petra. Yeah, a little yeah, more. Yeah, uh, Petra has more body to it, more balanced. Okay, yeah. more, more cleaner as well. Okay, and then obviously the uh, with a GP6 is a conical. I feel like has a so GP, it seems like GP is some, yeah. Yeah, I wonder. I was expecting with Wash Coffee to pick out the Petro, um, just because I really like soup with Wash Coffee, yeah. super clean. I like to uh, super complex. Yep. You know, I like to very uniform ground for Wash Coffee. It is interesting. You know, very interesting test. Okay, so as you can see uh, earlier with the GP6 with, especially, you know, with anaerobic process coffee, lots, you know, fermentation coffee, I feel like GP6 shines a little more than uh, 58 millimeter flat from Petro, okay? Yeah, I wonder if uh, Petro is too clean for a Sure, maybe, too, yep, maybe, you know, fermentation coffee uh, process there. But comes to nice wash coffee, obviously uh, Petro shines 
I don't want to say even shines, but man, I mean, again, you it took you a while, you know. It yeah. wasn't you wasn't like, instant, hey, yeah. instant, you know, okay, I like this, you know what I mean? It wasn't like I like this coffee, right away. So yeah, it's hard. They're both good. Hmm. They're both good cups. So I mean, I I yeah, I'm still I going, still yeah, feeling the Pietros. More I, sweetness, a little more sweetness, more more vibrant, more balanced. Um, but but here, here's a real question for you. I mean, here's a real question, right? Petro is uh, close to 500 bucks, uh, 475. Okay. I mean, you cannot deny that. 475, all right? GP6, you can get it for about 200 bucks, okay, on their website. So, what does that mean, all right? Is that, I mean, if you are looking for absolute, the best hand grinder, right? I'm talking about uh, absolute. The best hand grinder money can buy comes to Wash Coffee. Okay, Wash Coffee. I think I go with Petro. Yeah, money's no issue. Yeah. I since I I pretty much only I I pretty much primarily drink Wash coffees. Okay. Um, and I think it seems like Petro really shines there. But it's, but how much he shines though? How much he shines? Um. Can you okay? Do you see us uh, see us super spending four seventy five? top off your GP6 because of Wash Coffee? No. No. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think ZP6 is a much better bang for your buck. Um, but... Um, okay, let me ask you. If you don't have any of this grinder right now, okay, which grinder are you going to go with? I mean, I mean, most of you are watching this right now, right? If you don't have GP6, you don't have a picture, but you have, let's say, $500 on your pockets. Which grinder are you... Which one do you choose? I mean, that is the bigger question. Okay, you wanna buy a two hundred dollars grinder and that three hundred dollars buy something else, or you wanna get a five hundred dollar grinder? So I mean, that that's ultimately. But if you're a coffee hobbyist, uh, we think differently. Okay, we think different because not only that, that this thing is pretty special, fifty-eight millimeter flapper in hand grinder. Okay, that's very unique as well. So, I mean, for that alone. I mean, they have some value there, but we are talking about the, just a the cup quality, okay? Just cup quality. Uh, I feel like GP6 is the better value for the money, right? What, uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I definitely think this one, I think this one is the most close out of all the comparisons we've done today. Mm -hmm. Hardest to tell apart. Um, you can you can notice a difference, but I don't think it's enough for me to want to spend the extra money. Um, if money was no option, and I love wash coffees, I would go with Pietro. Pietro. But, you yeah. know, since money, I don't have a unlimited money supply. I would probably go with the ZP6 and buy you know, you know, maybe some more, you know, a different brewer or something yeah. like that, or you know, you know, use that three hundred bucks for a really good coffee. You know, that's that, three hundred bucks goes a long way with. A lot of bags of coffee, you know. But but, but okay. So again, I, I think I think ultimately, I mean, if you are looking for something something great, right? Something interesting, uh, something kind of like no one has it. Uh, Petro is uh, great, right? But if you are looking for just for the value, all right, just for the value of it, that's a different story. Okay, I think for the value for the money. Uh, GP6 is the comes to filter coffee there, all right? Filter coffee. Yeah. Okay. I think a GP6 is the very value for the money. I yeah. I don't think I don't think there's anything on the market that competes with GP6 at its price. I mean, we are talking about the price, right? Two hundred bucks. You know, that's two hundred bucks is a pretty decent price for a hand grinder. That's a good amount of money, excluding Petro. That's its own thing. Uh, for a hand grinder, two hundred bucks is is a lot of a lot of money for a hand grinder, but you know, I've been using this forever. I, I it definitely doesn't disappoint. But you know, in in this comparison, I do prefer the Pietro, but you know, it's closer than I would have thought. Yeah, because again, I mean, before we start this video about 84 minutes ago, I was hoping. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, because I knew Pietro is going to be top. Okay, it was the, no question about that because it's a, they're better grinder, they're fantastic, but how close to 
GP6 was, how close to it. Because I was hoping for you know, a little significant difference there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is just the one test, right? We did actually two tests, and a Robbie coffee, with, and they compared that with the Wash coffee. And we haven't even... Yeah, we might have to do, dial in more, we might have to do more comparisons to really get a better get idea. Get a better idea of what this grinder can do. Again, just the one test. Okay, it took us 84 minutes. All right? So we got many more comparisons to come in the future, for sure, because we're not done with the testing yet. Okay, because I do want to compare with the GP6 versus EK43 for the filter and also Petro as well, EK43. I have my EK43 is a 98 millimeter SSP burst. Spectacular. The burr cost alone more than this grinder cost, okay? Like 600, huh? This burr is uh, 600 bucks for the SSP burrs. They are outrageous. So, so, uh, and the, uh, yeah, Petro. No, Petro here. No, Petro here. Yeah, so. that's the Petro. So, so I mean, that's the, that's the interesting part. And so you got more to come next week as well. And what else? And uh, we are going to come, and the, I need to compare that with the K Plus and Commandante. But again, this is a filter coffee, showdown. Comes to espresso, hand grinder, no, it's not worth doing. Too much, too much work, uh, let's put it that way. Because doing espresso on hand grinder, the, I don't care how good that grinder is, that's not worth it, okay, for my opinion. I know some people may uh, beg to differ, but yeah. For me, yeah. on a budget, I might go with, okay. well, here's the thing, I don't make, I'm not gonna be making a lot of coffee for friends and family. They're not as into coffee. I also don't, we don't also don't have an espresso machine at home. So just for personal use, you know, I'll grind one shot, maybe dial in it a little bit, do one more. It's so, it takes some work, but you know, you know, I, I, I would might consider it on a budget. But you know, if I was making a lot of espresso shots, no way. So, okay, so it's been fun for last, what, well, goodness. 86 minutes. That's a long time, folks. I'm glad you guys are here hanging out with us this morning. There's a lot of fun there. So, again, uh, so let's summarize everything what we did today. Okay. And so, first round, GP6 versus Orca Ghost Birds goes to GP6 with, I mean, the Sarah picked out right away. Okay. He really enjoyed the coffee from GP6. The second round was Old Gen 2 versus Petro, okay, and that was a little close, second round? Closer was, than the first round, yeah. yeah. The, a little bit more closer. Ogento was, I mean, did a pretty good job. So fellow Ogento has a version uh, V2, the version, the Gen 2 version in it, not like Gen 1, okay? But imagine if you replace that with MP birds, it might be really close as well. And they, they bring up the price, but it's about the same price as the Petro. So, um, so that's very interesting combination, okay? So, so that's close. And the, the final round was GP6 versus the Petro. Again, uh, with the anaerobic coffee with a cone-shaped brewer, went to the GP6. But not by far, okay, very close. Yeah, okay. That, one was, that one was the uh, second closest yeah. today, and then I mean, this last one was the closest. I mean, there was definitely close there. And then, so the next one, we did a wash coffee with a flat bat bottom, a flat bottom uh, brewer. That was really, really close, but uh, Petra was top of it. Yeah. So what does that mean? So it comes to a uh, wash coffee, very clean. Uh, you want to go with like nice flat burr like Petra, okay? Large uh, flat burr. But if you're into more fermentation process coffee, but a little bit more, has a more punch to it and GP6 might shine more, but again, that's de depend on the coffee as well, okay? Yeah. Depend on the brewing method. Yeah, you might even want, uh, what is it, like uh, the K-Ultra? Sure. For I know we've had that before with more heavily processed mm -hmm. coffee. Pretty good, brings out the yeah. dynamic range of the coffee. So, I mean, so what, you know, what you can take away from this video we did uh, this morning, 
there's no bad grinder for this price range. All right, and there's no bad grinder for this price range. And there are four grinders I showcased this morning. They're all fantastic. Yeah, all With really good, really good cups. Yeah. If I got served any of these in a cafe, I'd be more than happy. You'd be happy with it. And especially with the Orca, the Ghost Bird, the, the $219 comes with two birds, right? One for flat and the one for Ghost Birds. So you are getting two grinders for one price. So for the value, I mean, value is there as well. So, I mean, this is really tough. I mean, I wish I can give you a definite answer to you, you guys. You know, hey, go out there, go buy Petro. I mean, that's not the answer, all right? GP6, sure. Is uh, you want to go with O Gen 2? I mean, okay, here's the thing. It comes to value for the money. If you don't care about espresso, if you do a lot of filtered coffee, you don't want to spend too much coffee on it, too much, you don't want to spend too much money on it, fellow O Gen 2, all right? That's not a bad deal either, okay? And if you want to spend less money, the old Gen 1 right now, selling for 200 bucks on Amazon or all their website. So again, if you, are, if you are looking into filter, you have a lot of options. I hope this video helps. Hopefully help you with the buying, you know, future buying ideas. If you, uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, okay? Someone was saying, uh... One thing, uh, Pietro has blind burrs, which uh, actually punches higher than its size. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, I, I think... The screws can, you know, the screw holes, you know, whether it's noticeable or not, I, th I think I haven't tried it, but I think other people have said there's I, a difference. But, you know, screw holes, that can add up to a decent amount of surface area. I think what, what you guys are talking about is... Yeah, no screw holes there. I mean, there's no screw holes, right? Okay. Which can, yeah, that can skew like your uniformity a little bit. And so this one, the picture is a lot more uniform for sure. So this bird is, again, comes to design wise, it's well done. Okay. Comes to look and feel. I mean, if you want something premium, okay. I mean, if you want something premium grinder, I mean, picture is, is a, up there. Okay. It's a little awkward, but interesting looking. Conversation piece on your countertop as well, okay? You know, different colors. So sometimes if, if you're buying grinder for obviously, you know, how good these grinders are to the cup quality, but same time, how fit into your kitchen, right? If you're a coffee hobbyist, you want to fit into your decoration, your kitchen as well. Is that matching your color, matching your coffee machine? Is a lot going on, guys. So. So again, I mean, you got a lot to look at, yeah, but... It, yeah, like I said, if money was no option, I would go for a Pietro. Okay, Pietro. Um, but for this one, you know, as they cool down, I would st I would say like if Pietro was a 10, yep. ZP6 is probably like a 9 okay. for me. Um, so closer than I would have thought, but, you know. But, sorry, but, you know, you like the GP6 on anaerobic coffee. Yeah, for that last one, I yeah, did. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we could always... Yeah, you know, since these are just one. Yeah, it's one we could off. Always do, we could always do more. Yeah. I know, uh, I think somewhere on Lance's Instagram or something like that, you can find, they actually did, uh, I don't I don't remember what they're called, but like the laser particle yeah. analysis. And uh, in that, Pietro is like scientifically more uniform, okay. but, you know, taste is something different. Exactly. Com I mean, it comes to taste is all different as well. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, like this video. And... I'm going to see you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video, okay? It's about, about 93 minutes long, but I'm going to uh, chop it down uh, uh, this weekend. So I may, I'm going to have like shorter video. So if you're, go, if you're planning on watching, you know, down the road, I'm just going to give you guys just a bits and pieces, all the summary for you guys. So what we did today. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I'm going to big shout out to young Sal here to hang out with us this morning. I'm going to see you guys later. I'll be back later. Okay, bye-bye.